So on this OBS tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could actually capture the audio from your capture card. Now this is specific to my experience. So I do use a mirror box capture card. So if you're using other capture cards like Elgato or any other brand, this might be a little bit different, but from everything that I'm seeing, the process and steps is pretty much the same or similar. So in this case, I am showing you how to do this in Microsoft Windows. So if you have an Apple Mac or if you're a Linux user like myself, you might see something a little bit different. And so the first thing you need to do is you actually need to create a scene. So in this case, you could call the scene whatever you want. So I already have a scene right here that does my gaming capture, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another one over here. So I just called this scene two. So once you have your scene, you need to add a source. So you're gonna go ahead and add a source here and you are gonna choose video capture device. So in this case, I already have one called capture card video and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name this test capture and we'll say okay. And here is where you might see things a little bit different on your computer. So at least for my computer in Windows, if you go to the device, choose the drop down, and you could choose from your available devices. So my mirror box is actually in my USB 3.0 port. So it just says USB video. But whenever I'm using this in Linux Mint, it actually does say mirror box. So your computer might say something similar to USB video or mirror box. So you choose that. And here's the really important part. If you scroll down to the bottom, you see this option called audio output mode. And the default is capture audio only. And in this case, you can use different drop down features here. And you could also use custom audio device as well. But at least for me, what worked was to just choose capture audio only. Now I have seen some people choose a different option and they even had mirror box as one of the options. But in this case for Microsoft Windows, I don't have that option. And for my computer, the only option that, that really worked for me was capture audio only. So I did that and I say, okay. And then once you do that, you notice that there's actually some sound that is coming from this test capture, but I don't actually hear it. So the reason why you're not hearing it is you actually need to monitor the audio. So this is an important thing. So what you need to do is you need to go down to this test capture, which is this source right here, go to your three dots, go to advanced audio properties. And then underneath this source name, which is test capture for me, you go here to audio monitoring and the default is monitor off, but go here and choose monitor and output. And as you could probably hear, this is the sound from the game. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill the screen to this. So for anybody who is a Nintendo fan, then you probably know what this game is. And then if I wanted to turn it off, I could turn it off. Turn it on, there it is. So whatever you have from your capture device, the audio will come through. And if for some reason you're still not getting any audio from this, the one thing that I highly recommend you do, and I know this sounds really simple, is to unplug the USB capture card device and then plug it back in, or you could reset your computer after that. And that's something that I didn't think would work, but it actually did work in my case. And then if you are still having issues beyond that, then unfortunately with everybody's different configuration on their computer, I don't have a simple answer for everything, but at least through everything that I've done here and the videos that I've looked at, this is what worked for me. And you might wanna try this first. And like I said, try to unplug and plug in your device if you don't hear anything. But once you get that all set up, you will get audio from your capture card to OBS. So, if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did wanna see more of my OBS tutorials, tips, and tricks, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.